Every minute of every day, someone calls for help from a paramedic. Their job is to bring order out of chaos, stabilise the victim and transport them to hospital. A night in the life of a paramedic providing help. It's the best job in the world, Mike, this job. <laughs> best job in the world, wouldn't swap it for me. A couple of jobs, for example, that if I started to tell you about them now, you could find it embarrassing because I cry. Thank you, Responder 1. Two miles fallen from the roof into a water tank, both patients unable to move. Copy that, thank you. driveway that goes right down the back. Responder 1, Sydney. Responder 1, send uh, care flight to our location. We'll get a GPS back to you shortly. Uh, replying to Lifesaver 1. OK, thank you, Lifesaver 1. That's two patients into Westmead Hospital. You should be able to land on the property itself. G'day, Glenn. I'm Norm. Take a big deep breath. In and out. And again. And again. Good. OK, did that hurt a bit when you took that breath in? So it's round your back on the side or in the middle? OK, what about neck pain? You got neck pain? I just can't lift. OK, I want you to keep your head nice and still, OK? Because we're going to assume you could have a neck injury as well. And just Can we put a mask on that, please? Tape and what? Yep. Just the steri strips and. Uh, How's your guy, Pete? Oh, he's all right. Yeah, okay. this one this seems to be in the most pain. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to put a neck brace on you. Yeah. Just relax. So this will be a little Keep bit Keep still. A little bit Glenn. uncomfortable. It won't help to stop your breathing or anything, okay, mate? No, just yeah. uncomfortable, Glenn. But we like to make. You got no pain here at all. Yeah. Okay. Your neck and your side. Make a fist. Open and close your hand for me. Just, just pump for me, son. Keep going. Open and close. Give me a large ball cannula and alcohol white, please. Oh. No, I'm going to get some drugs onto this guy. Glenn, going to put a little needle in. OK, now just relax for me. Keep still. Little jab. OK. A bit of morphine now, OK? I want an arm lock and draw me up some morphine, thanks. You'll be right, mate. Don't be frightened, OK? It'll be all good. Would you like a steri strip or an opposite? First? I just want to get the whole thing taped in. He could have a dislocated shoulder just by the way that shoulder's laying, and I'm suspecting ribs rather than a spinal injury. That's the uh, morphine number. Okay, what was his last blood pressure? 120 systolic. You feel a little rushed, mate. I'm just going to give you, just going to give you something for this pain. No pain there at all. Now, can I get this guy back on some oxygen? How are you going now, mate? You're cold, okay. You can also get me a space blanket, yep. Yeah. Put that out and we'll try and warm him up a bit. Yeah. Glenn, matey, give me a scale of one to ten for your pain now. Give me a number. Five. And what was it before I gave you the morphine? Ten. So I've halved your pain, have I? Yeah, no, if I move. You're getting cold, are you? Your back hurts if you move. Okay, I think he has to come out first before this guy. Don't drop it, whatever you do, no. boss. Hold on to the top of it. Okay. Lock your arms across your chest and I'm going to move you slowly this way. Okay, straps for this and let's go. We can move him out. Okay, we've just got to make sure our footing doesn't slip. Let's start strapping. Glenn, how's your pain? Okay, what was his blood pressure? 114. 114. Give him another 2.5 of morph okay. and a flush. We'll just keep an eye on his blood pressure. What we're going to do now, John, is strap you into this board you're on so we can get you out of here. All right, mate. Here's your hand. Got yourself in a pickle this time, didn't you, eh? Okay, we'll get some more straps. That's our helicopter coming in. It sounds a bit of a contradiction to say you were lucky. You were unlucky you fell, but I think you're lucky. Your injuries don't look to be that serious. It's just about getting you out of here safely. OK, we strapped. Right. Yep. Um, OK, right. now it's slippery. So what's your footing? 
Paul, these two guys fell from up there into this pit. They've both got query fractured ribs. All their rubs are stable. So I wanted to move this guy first because he's the easiest to get to. Four of us in here, flat lift this guy out. We'll need hands up here to actually take him. All right, mate? Everyone got a hand on? John, I promise you we won't drop you. One, two, three. Now slowly, slowly. Now remember, keep your feet still and stable. Now lift up, up, keep him flat. Now slide him and overhand. The people outside the trench take him. He's all yours, guys. We're out of it because we might need you. I want to try the same again, it works. What's your pain levels like now, Glenn? It's alright. You're not hanging tough because you don't have to suffer. John's out and John's pretty stable. Now he's a bit wider than John. Sorry, Glenn, I didn't mean to be offensive, mate. You know what I meant. Pop this arm up on your chest, Glenn. Okay. Got him, guys? Yep. Make sure your feet are very, very stable, flat on the ground. Yep. One, two, three. Now slowly, just relax, Glenn, you'll be good. You right home? Hand up now, lift! Up, got it, slowly, pass it, pass it, don't walk. Watch that shirt. Watch that wet shirt doesn't catch. Right, he's all yours, guys. We'll get down a little further forward. Okay, right. that'll do. All right, guys, the count of three. Okay. Breaking away. It's not a long flight, mate, to get you back to the hospital. Thanks, Ken. One man suffered broken ribs, a punctured lung and liver. The other was relatively unharmed. They'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. Thank you, 963. You have a middle-aged man having trouble breathing with severe chest pain. 963, copy that. Over the bridge, and when you get over the bridge, turn right at the locks. And left up here, you know, this is the cross that you inside. Ambulance. Come round the side. Round the side, alright. Just relax, matey. Just relax. What's your name? Michael. You've had the flu, Michael. Oh, it's only about the last four days. All right, oh. just relax. Oh, oh. Just breathe in and out. Oh, this is it. That's as much as I can breathe. Michael? 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 Ma Michael? It's fine. I just want to have a listen to your lines. Just, just try and not talk for a little while, OK? Just try and save your breath. Oh, that's it. Just tell him it's a fine. All right, Michael. Ventolin and atrophin too. Michael, do you smoke? Yeah. All right, have you had some cigarettes tonight? No, not since midnight. All right, then. Are you an asthmatic, Michael? No. No? Listen, we're just going to give you some oxygen. We're going to give you some Ventolin also to help you breathe in OK? Has this ever happened to you before? No. No? No. I've had the flu, but not like this. OK. Do you have any pain in there, Michael? Oh, yeah, I'll have it. All right. breathe me. OK. Me back. All right, well, we're going to give you something, yeah. Michael, to help you breathe in, all right? Uh, mate of mine just come back from Thailand. <laughs> Wouldn't mind betting I got it off him. Did he have the flu? Yeah, yeah. How old are you, Michael? 48. You're going to take your butt pressure, mate, all right? Yeah. Uh, 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 all right. Does it hurt if you sit up? Uh, just, okay, just, okay. all right, just slow. Uh, uh, oh. uh, uh, <laughs> so we're going to run you up to hospital and get you checked out, all right? Okay? Just try and relax. Another doctor. This is not helping. Yeah, it's going to take a while, all right? Just try and relax. <coughs> How long have you been coughing for? Four days. <coughs> so you haven't been vomiting or anything like that, Michael? No. Nah. Is it getting better? No. Nah. All right. Uh, I still want the lungs collapsing. Yeah. Oh, I can't breathe at all. You're all right. You just relax. Uh, you haven't been in the hospital recently, Michael? No. Nah. Want to come with us, do you? I'll be a while, right? 
All right, you just hold on, mate. Right? All right, Michael, just nice and easy. Can you walk out with your lap? You're bring your legs up. You're doing well, Michael. <laughs> All right, relax. Oh, I know it's easy for me to say. But I come in, love, and just sit in that chair. Even your socks even doesn't help. Just gonna have another look, Michael. Just look at your chest. Does that hurt if I push like that? No. All right. Just try and relax. Just try and relax. Do you feel like you're going to vomit? Yeah. You're doing well, mate. Here's some tissues. We'll take you to Fairford Hospital, okay? Yes, please. You're getting plenty of oxygen in your body, Michael, all right? Compared to what you were when we got to the address, all right? Because this is about 92, 94. So it's come up a bit, okay? Now, Michael, just a little needle in your hand, all right? Just don't move your hand. Michael, just got to secure it. Go for it, mate. Don't worry. And it hurts you in the chest? Does it hurt more when you breathe in or breathe out? Breathe in. Were you asleep, Michael? Well, I haven't been sleeping for the last four days. Have you ever had any pneumophorics or anything like that? Any what? And have you ever had any collapsed lungs? No. I've had broken ribs a few times. Yeah. Cracked ribs or whatever. Oh, I didn't think it that far away. Oh. Nearly there, mate. It's coming up to the hospital now, OK? So your friend's just come back from Thailand and he's got the flu, you said? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you a heavy smoker? Not really. Oh. Drink alcohol? Yeah, I'll have a drink three or four days. All right. You want to come this way, love? Just be careful. Michael was diagnosed with pneumonia. After six weeks of daily injections, he made a full recovery. On a couple of occasions, I have been to people who I knew or looked like. Uh, on the, in that particular case was the spitting image of my father in a suit like my father used to wear in an area where my father used to work in cardiac arrest and I just went to places I couldn't, couldn't function at all. But it serves to remind you your exposure to that sort of thing and your exposure to the vagaries of fate if you like um, serves to remind you just how important your family is and um, how every moment with them is, um, is absolutely precious because you just don't know um, how long you're going to be there. Or they're going to be there. Thank you, 684. We have a pregnant female TV bleeding. Come and just have a quick chat. Yes. Oh. Now, seven months? Yes. No. When did this start? Yes. Just now? Seven wow. months ago. Have you lost a lot of blood? Or? I think I'm feeling yes. really, I really yes. feel like I'm flooding now. No, I am going to be able Can we get a 20 volt 20 out of the car for us? Thanks. What's happening? Why? I don't know. Okay. I started what? How are you going, mate? What's your name? Travis. How are you going, Travis? My name's Paul. Are you going to come with us? Great. So, not your first. Anything different today? You haven't hurt yourself or hit yourself or fallen or anything no, like that? No, nothing. No? I just couldn't wee about 15 minutes ago and all my pelvis went rock hard and I just started bleeding. OK. Well, we've got a pad for you, mate. Well, how old are you, Travis? Four. Yeah. Gee, you're a big boy. I had two birthdays. Last time I was, like, 28. And right. And then, then I got four. Then you're four. You can stay with your mum, make sure that she's OK. Yeah. Do you think it'll be right? Yeah. We'll get you to have a sit down on our stretcher when we get you in the back of the car. Let's Travis, go. let's go, mate. Travis, yes. can I get you to have a seat up there? Mm -hmm. And you can make sure your mum's OK in the back with me. Uh -huh. All right? Have a big seat and we'll put a seatbelt on. Seatbelt on. Get you to have a seat here. 
Yes, we are. That's the one. Believe it or not, we have, we have seen blood before. What? And we need to get you up to the hospital and do an ultrasound to see what's going on. How much do you think you've lost? A bit uh, a cup full? Two cups full? Uh, yeah. A bit of cup Haven't been able to pass water all day. I've only been to a twice today, I think, once. Right. And they're only really small. And I'll, I just felt so much movement of the baby today, so much. Moving around a lot. How many weeks, then? Um, 26 to 27 weeks. 27? Okay. Now, do you take any medications regularly? Nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. Any other troubles with your health? Oh, no. no. You've been spotting a lot? The first 30 weeks every day. True. They're so you, they've been keeping a very close eye on you, I take it? Yes, they have. Yeah. Need to see if we can go straight to King George. Yeah, that's right. OK, you comfortable here, Travis? Good man. That's a good little bloke, isn't he? And I asked you before, no trauma. OK, you haven't fallen, haven't had a blow to the tummy or anything last today? Last week, four stairs. Four stairs, did you? Onto my stomach. Onto your stomach, last week. I got there. I okay. And I had my arms. Yeah, did you go to the hospital or anything? No, because I got up, I was wounded, but I felt... When was your last checkup up there, mate? Um, I'm due for another one there. Any contractions or anything like that? No? Okay. When you actually start noticing the blood, was it bright red yes. clots? Bright red. We'll be taking you straight round to King George V, which is where the babies are born. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the experts are there, all right, and they'll be able to have a look at you straight away. Okay. Any other tests and things did you have before this? I've had lots of blood tests, lots of ultrasounds. Okay, lots of ultrasounds. Yeah, I've had five ultrasounds. Okay, and when was the last one? Yeah, the last one was about... The last one, everything was fine. This, the baby was fine. Yeah. How many um, weeks ago was that? Um, four weeks ago. This little bloke, was he, he come early or anything? No, or? Right on the day. No. Right did you have the same sort of troubles with that pregnancy no. as you're having this time? This is not normal. Get you examined properly by one of the obstetricians up there. We just don't know. You need to be there. I was going to drive my car. And no, 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 no. You always call us for that sort of thing if you're worried. We might put the lights and sirens on now. Um, it's, not, it's not that I'm desperately worried about you, OK? We would have done that straight from the beginning if I thought you were desperately ill. Well, there was a big problem. You need a doctor to examine you properly. I'm not about to um, start examining you. It's okay. not my department. Right. Well, we just need to get you there quick. And that's why we're putting the lights and sirens on. Okay. It's a little bit more exciting for young Travis there. It's, it's nice to see he's not, not frightened by all this. So that's good. That's a start. Okay, Travis, you going to come with us? All right. <laughs> Good man. Come on, that big fella. Good boy. Our patient gave birth, and both mum and baby are doing fine. No, with a lot of jobs that we go to, perhaps it's a coping mechanism of mine. I don't know, a subconscious mechanism that I just don't think about it much mm. most of the time afterwards, yeah, but not I'd consciously. Say, I I'd say luckily most of the time I don't take anything home. Like you and I have known each other for a long time and that's one of the things that, you know, we would talk about jobs if we mm. had something yeah. that was harassing us or, or getting us down and, and most of us have got mates in the job that we talk to and that's often all we need, eh? Yeah. You yeah, just, just get it off your talk chest. About, talk about so the talk job. about it yeah. and then you move on. Thanks, 563, MDA, motorbike and a car, young female lying on the road. One, we're on location, uh, most of us still on the road, and the other from the car up to the to local. To local. Oh, are you serious? Fuck, stop! You go through, you go through. You stay there. Can you just not let these cars out? Yeah, just stand there. Hello. Hi, I'm Leanne. Hi, Leanne. What's your name? Katia. Katia. Okay. How are you going? I could be better. Yeah, obviously. Have you got pain anywhere at the moment? My left yeah. leg really Your left hurts. leg really hurts? We'll get your helmet off. 
we're going to put a collar on your neck, okay. put you on a spine, but we'll get you in the car and we'll do everything there, okay? I'm going to have to take this backpack off you, okay? Have you got any back pain at all? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay, just let me slide this off. Keep your head very still. Don't move, don't move, don't move. If you want to take this off, you're going to have to need to reach in and stabilise the head. This hand's bleeding. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, my legs. Your legs, yeah. So you know where you are at the moment, Katia? Yes, I do. Yeah. Listen, we don't want you to move your head. What we have yeah, to do is actually right. rock the helmet off. All right. Can't tell the neck size at the moment. Have you got, got no pain in your neck at all? No. Okay, have okay. you got a neck there? Yeah. Just going to slowly pull that off, okay? Okay. Nice just want to grab the board. Yeah, just get some of this out of the way. Yeah. Okay, that's oh, just that you know. left leg. Apparently, yeah. she's got a bit of pain there. Uh -huh. We really need you not to move at all. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Yeah, that's move right. you because we really want to protect your back and your neck. Yeah. Okay. Pain until we get everything checked out. So left leg. So no pain anywhere else that you can feel. No, it's no, just, it's my just leg. Okay. keep your head nice and still. I know it's hard. Can you bring your arm in, sweetheart? Across your chest. So just down near the ankle, maybe just support that. We're going to. I know until we roll up. Keep still. Don't worry. Everyone right? Yep. On three? One, two, three. Roll out your back, that one. I'm just going to try and slide this under you. Just stay nice and still. So we're going to put that collar on, like I said. It's not the most comfortable thing. Bend the cell back if you can. Okay. I'm sorry? Elbow, bend it. Yeah, sorry, darling. I'm just trying to avoid having to cut your leather jacket, all right? Oh, please, cut this stupid jacket. Nice and still. Keep your head nice. Uh, keep your head nice and still. Okay. I know you want to look oh, around. I just can't believe why this is happening. I just <laughs> chink. No, no. Oh, sorry. It's sorry. Let us manipulate it onto you, okay? All right. Straps and then we can okay. go. I don't want to forget to get the names. <laughs> yep. The police. They'll the police do all will that. organise that. The police will have to come and see you at the hospital. They'll okay? come and talk to you. Get a oh, statement off you. Are going to the hospital? Yeah. Yep. Um, You're not going anywhere. You're not walking around. No, no. Oh. We need to check out this. Just keep on the heads on top. You I'm okay? Sorry. Don't get upset, all right? You'll be okay, all right? This is all precautionary, okay? I think you've been a lucky motorcyclist today. Tell me about it. Hey? Yeah. All right? Are you going to lift you up, put you on the stretcher? One, two, three. Ooh. Bit of a shock. You didn't expect to be in an ambulance tonight. Okay. Can you guess me? I'll give that, you a little be, time. That'll be one of the most common lines that people say to us. We haven't actually had anyone that says, I love needles yet. <laughs> okay. We're There's, still looking for them. Okay. There's going to be a little sting in your hand. I'm going to be as gentle as I can. One sting and then that'll be as... Oh, okay. It'll be over with. That's the worst of it. That's done. Okay. Have you ever had morphine before? For pain? Yeah. Yeah, I, I fractured both my ankles. Okay. Skydiving once. I think I had morphine. Okay, probably. Whatever it was, it was good. It was good. I don't want to get addicted because I don't like things. No, you're not going to get addicted. I'm only going to give you a little small amount. Hopefully, it'll just take the edge off that pain. Okay. I might stop bleeding. Um, it stopped. How are you feeling? Just a bit shaky still? It's just this. I was selling this bike this weekend. Oh, really? Okay, now I'm just going to have to grab some details off you. I haven't had a chance to get any. Katia suffered ligament damage and scarring and hasn't ridden a motorbike since. Next week, another night in the life of a paramedic providing help.